Chess friends, how are you? Today is a very nice day and I am gonna show you the World Championship Game 9 between Ian and Ding. And you know what, I recently start my new chess courses video on my Alpha Zero channel, you can subscribe the channel where I give daily chess lessons, link in the description and comments. And this is your today's puzzle, 70 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, so let's go, Ian started with E4. We have e5 knight to f3 knight on c6 and Ian Nepo choose to play bishop b5 known as Rui Lopez, knight f6 d3 and bishop to c5 by Ding, in this position you have knight c3 or knight d2 line, but Ian Nepo chooses to play c3, not bad, he can take the knight and he have d4 line as his future plan, this pawn will be unguarded after bishop takes knight, so we have castle by Ding, he have d5 line, castle d5 by Ding, Knight here and we have center exchanges, Ding pushes his queen side a pawn. But best was to play queen e7, you no need to play a5 to put your knight on there and make it passive, anyway, we have a4, queen here and queen c2, white's plan is to play knight here then bishop will take the knight, and the e5 pawn will be unguarded for black, white will attack it, so, Ding retreats his knight on b8, Ding is always like to play with passively because he is tuttle, better was to play knight here but best was to play knight e8, preparing for the f5 strategy, anyway rook e1 rook d8 h3, h6. Knight to f1, his idea is to put the knight on e3 square to having control over the center, another plan is to play knight g4 to revolution on there with the knight, if the knight permanently post on f5 square, then it will be super dangerous for the king to live there, we have c6 by ding, bishop here, Knight a6 knight g3 and queen c7 bishop a2, black can play b5 to grabbing some space in queen side, ding played this move b5, queen e2 rook here knight h4 and here if you give white some extra moves. For example rook here then knight will come rook here queen f3, the queen and knight going forward to black's territory, rook here then knight will sacrifice himself by taking the pawn, after pawn takes queen will win back his material, he is threatening this and position will be dead lost, if you play rook here to protect this then queen f3, pawn takes knight f5 takes takes, the king position is very weak and he will be a target in few moves like queen here then bishop f4. This can't take this so queen backs and bishop takes, the bishop have open file and the king position is in a very worst condition, the queen is coming to destroy you, the pawn is also pinned, he can't move if you play rook g6, queen will take the rook and the game will be over, so, back to the position, Ding played bishop f8, try to protect his army, we have queen f3, Nepo's idea is clear to capture the pawn on h6, after takes he will win the knight, so after pawn takes Ian sacrificed his bishop as a tempo. If you take the bishop then queen takes knight will happen. This is the almost same variation we discussed, the difference is that the bishop is there to protect it, rook d6 queen takes rook takes pawn, and queen to h5 knight to c5, e5 rook backs, then queen check will come, the pawn can't take it because the bishop is pinning to the pawn, so bishop blocks knight comes to give checkmate to you, knight here to protect it then bishop takes knight, pawn takes to protect it then knight check, king slides, and this is the worst position for the king. King have no pawns to save him and it will be plus 22 advantages for white, queen is coming to h7, then queen g8 check king to e7, then he will capture the bishop, game will be over for you, so, back to the position, we have knight to c5, threatening to play rook d3 to target the queen and he is targeting to the b2 pawn with the rook, we have knight g6, the bishop is doing excellent job here, he have a great diagonal, ding responded with rook takes b2, knight takes bishop and rook takes. Bishop, back to g5 by Ian but best was to play queen e3 to target the knight and so on, Ding played knight here bishop, backs rook b5 bishop to a3, pinning the knight to the rook and threatening to play queen here to support the knight, if you 200 lo move bishop b7, then queen e3 to target the knight with two pieces, if queen b6 then knight here rook here then queen g3 to checkmate you in one move, g6 then he will sacrifice his queen by taking the pawn. White will sacrifice his queen but you can't take the queen, we will see king h8 then queen g7 checkmate, so, back to the position, here we have rook e8, bishop to c4 and bishop e6, if you take the rook, let me show you the variation, then pawn takes b5, 
This three pawns are super pawns, I mean it will bring strong to white in the end game if white don't take it seriously, my research proves that after queen exchange, and after few moves later, we will see a war. This pawns are super aggressive and it will cause problems to white, as an intelligent human you should always care about future and your plans, so, in this position ding takes the bishop, knight takes and knight to f5, threatening to play bishop d6 and queen here to pressure him, play rook to d1 to getting access to the d-file, c5 by ding, queen e2 rook to b3, targeting the pawn so queen c4, queen here bishop c1, target to the pawn with two pieces, so knight f6 and we have queen exchanges on the queen side. Rook takes bishop here rook here takes, rook here takes and we have another exchanges on the center, rook here to target the knight, if you try to save the knight by playing knight h7, then knight takes g7 will appear, king takes rook check, the king will face problem so king h6, bishop takes, and black have no hope to win the game, this island pawns isn't a good source to create problems, white will gain positional advantages, so back to the position, we have knight to d4, after takes takes takes. It's an end game between the same material, here ding played knight g3, if you take it. Then rook takes knight, this pawns can be stopped by this pawns and the game will be draw, so back to the position we have rook b7. Ding saved the game with black pieces and next time Ding will play with white and there will be a hope for Ding to win the world championship, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.